स्वागतम स्वागतम talk in uh, three different topics which are interrelated first is the what is vibration from the physics uh, principles point of view then uh, we will come to the biology part what uh, dr alka prakash is teaching us for last two years that i will give you overview of that and we will try to relate how it is related to uh, vibration and finally the uh, spirituality part and how the all three topics are interrelated so bear with me for explaining in minute detail so that uh, we can know what the message i want to give it to you so the details of the topic as this so basically to get the awareness of vibration and sound therapy as a complementary treatment and then how vibration affect us at what level so the level means within our body what are the levels and how it affects so difference between uh, physical body and energy body then i will come to the seven chakra introduction of seven chakra energy centers within the body then what is mean by chakra blocking and what is the process of unblocking here i will explain what is the meditation process when you go to the temple and do the meditation with the meditation exactly what happen within your body so that that process i will try to explain it and then how external instrument helps us in meditation see the external uh, uh, all these element like uh, your all the musical instrument like singing bowl and all other how 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 that vibration helpful in improving our meditation process and finally i will demonstrate with three equipment that is uh, temple bell tingsha and singing bowl that is the actual healing process and the therapy process how it is conducted uh, uh, whoever giving a professional services then finally risk and side effect of sound meditation and conclusion and then question answer so what is vibration see uh, everybody knows what is the bad noise see the jack hammer which is uh, used in uh, your metro work traffic sound angry voice these are all when you hear those noise it disturb our peace as against that you hear soothing sound like a bird chirping soft music chanting bell these are all loving voices which have a direct effect on nervous system and it gives a relaxation soft music also with give relaxation whereas the hard music or rhythmic fast music see it makes you dance 
it may not be relaxing but it makes you dance and happy so i will go to the basics of what is vibration the simplest model available for vibration is our wall clock so everybody has seen the pendulum which is swinging to and fro so this one swing from this point and coming back to the same point it completes the one cycle in one second so one cycle in one second it is called hertz it is a measurement unit of the frequency so here this measure this is a pendulum to and fro this is a physically which i have shown its graphical representation is shown as in sinusoidal form those who are a science background they will understand what is sinusoidal so basically the cycle starts from this point it it goes up and down and this completes the one cycle here so the number of cycles in one second that is the frequency of that object so these are the definition which i given in uh, uh, definition of vibration it is a mechanical process it is a to and fro movement of a any object and it is happening beyond certain level we hear the vibration so when we hear the vibration the minimum frequency has to be 20 hertz and it can go up to 20000 hertz so this is the audible range of human beings see when we hear a sound the sound travels in air at a speed of 340 meter per second in water it goes up to 1500 meter and in solid or like a glass or metal it can be 500 and 5500 meter per second so this is the speed of sound so that means when you are hearing this sound and touching our body see our body contains 71% of water that means once it touched our body within the body it travels at a 1500 meter per second so that's why uh, mr prem prakash was saying this is the fastest therapy which we can uh, experience and uh, cure your problem these are all definition i given what is the class 8 physics definition in engineering what happen this vibration we treat as a negative force and in any equipment uh while manufacturing the scientists or designer try to take care that it minimize this vibration so it is a discomfort for whoever object is for example if you see in the olden cars it was vibrating more car petrol car versus diesel car you see the more and more vibration so the modern techniques are to minimize those vibration so this is a negative parameter within the design of the engineering equipment see this a pictorial i try to show the what is the vibration so pendulum i already explained to you guitar tunes then truck going from your uh, uh, road side it vibrates even building vibrates these are all structures are in vibrating condition see when 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 heavy duty motor runs in industry it gives a noise and that noise is when, when multiple frequency comes together that is a noise and that noise is very very disturbing us when you take a scanning of this noise this will look like something like this now coming back to the audible range which i explain already 20 hertz to 20000 is audible range and this is the frequency where human ear can understand so below 20 hertz man cannot listen anything and above 20 hertz man cannot hear. whereas in other animal dog can hear from the minimum of say 15 hertz to 60000 hertz that means dog has a capability to hear almost three times the human being then other birds and other animal has got a far broader range for their audible range but our human body though it is audible range is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz body can feel more vibration than the audible range so that is the feel part of that so during this uh, vibration therapy not only it is a sound which will uh, cure you but the vibration other than this thing that will also affect you this tribal people they were not aware of the science behind this vibration but they were practicing precisely in their day to day work like hunting and uh, communicating to each other so they were using effectively these are all ancient people or tri tribal people 
see uh, here i am giving you in, information on what is mean by overtone see in music industry there are a lot of other terminology which will uh, take one by one when many frequencies comes together that is called overtone so the 2 minutes a uh, tune which you have heard that tune is so important i call it as a sacred uh, sound and that sound is a primordial sound the bell which you have heard is of 432 hertz and 432 hertz is very important is the most uh, sacred tune that's why i i i i gave you experience of 2 minutes of hearing that now within the audible range see we have subsonic and supersonic when the velocity of sound is less than uh, velocity of sound it is called subsonic and beyond velocity of sound it is called supersonic and beyond audible range it is ultrasonic so this ultrasonic frequency is used in most of the medical equipment for diagnosing uh, many parameters of our uh, bodies now here what happened uh, our audible range is only 20 hertz to 20000 hertz similarly our visible range see this is the entire uh, universe from this gamma rays to radio waves but we are only seeing only this very very small bandwidth and this small bandwidth varies from violet to red so we see the seven colors and these are the only seven color visible to human eye but there are other frequencies which are there but we don't see it so this is the range of human being see in the uh, available uh, universe today there may be many more colors but whatever we have seen we have given a name to this so this uh, small bandwidth i have just expanded to show it to uh, in a detailed manner from violet to red so violet has got a highest energy frequency and uh, this has got a very very high energy which can burn the your skin now this is the uh, you see violet indigo blue and so on up to the red this is the visible range now come to beyond violet beyond violet it is called ultraviolet ultraviolet ke aage x rays hai x rays ke aage gamma rays hai gamma rays ke aage human being doesn't know what it is there may be many more different types of frequencies available we don't know human being has not even explore anything similarly on this range after red it is a infrared beyond infrared is a microwave beyond microwave is a radio wave and we are using various equipment using radio wave like your radio tuning tv tuning and all these thing see human being has uh, invented so many equipment using these principles but beyond radio waves even if you are there we don't know so this is a small world small window where we see the our universe and that we treat as a our knowledge these are all the frequency chart now see uh, this birds and animal has got a far more hearing more hearing or viewing capability it's uh, his a case study uh, in china in 1975 there was a earthquake in this city hencheng city in 1975 so by seeing the birds and animal behavior during this time they uh, gone to their respective safe places and they avoided that particular place and uh, lo looking it by looking into this phenomena government of china they have uh, relocated the people at different plot and uh, when actual earthquake of 7.3 richter scale happened uh, 2000 people died so when next year when birds and animal they give the signal of earthquake china government they decided to bring the experts from uh, seismic expert and those who knows the uh, phenomena of earthquake and they asked us because relocation cost is very high so they don't want to relocate but they asked the experts to certify that whether which area is safer so they did some studies and other thing and they came out with some plan and they asked not to relocate and other thing but with this mechanism what happened when actual earthquake took place 2 lakh 40000 people died 
that means they have not listened to birds and animal at that time and these are the consequence they felt so what i want to say is birds and animal they know the nature very well they can take care of their day to day whatever threats to them but human being due to their limited capability of seeing experiencing as well as visible thing so these are the things we have to learn from nature so this we call in animal as a sixth sense or seventh sense or whatever you call now uh, how to measure a vibration so i have given you this uh, already i uh, share a link on the uh, android uh, mobile users so that they can download these apps and start measurement of the uh, frequency there is a apps available similarly the other uh, apps is for uh, apps mobile user so when you install on your own mobile you can experience your own voice in terms of what is the frequency of your voice so now what einstein has says from the smallest atom to the cosmos cosmos means they apne samne jo bhi brahmand jo whatever we see so everything vibrates so smallest atom which called as anu it also vibrate electron proton and neutron within the these are the components of uh, atom they are also vibrating so so each and every element has got the smallest atom smallest part is called atom to ye atom ka jo characteristic hai wo kaise banta hai to each atom has got a three characteristic satva raja and tama guna jisme satva gun jyada hai wo solid banta hai jisme raja gun jyada hai wo liquid banta hai and jisme tama gun jata hai wo tamas yani gaseous state mein hota hai and depending on these thing you get the characteristic of that object including person so the tamas gun is the most destructive for it can be uh, explosion to anything destructive activity even if yeah. person having destructive mind that has it has got a more tamas gun this we have covered it so why i am calling you again and again a 432 hertz is because our universe is vibrating at 432 hertz our earth ro while rotating it is vibrating at 432 hertz and the sound which earth emit it is a om sound that's why when you are chanting om if you are able to reach 432 that means you are exactly in tune with universal vibration and at that time you 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 get all the Uh, energy from the universe within your body that's why chanting om with a proper pronunciation and this pronunciation not the subjective thing it is actually digitally measured and uh, just now morning before we start up our uh, uh, talk i measure uh, mr prem ji's uh, voice it came to 422 to 441 hertz which which i appreciate the first person i saw is vibrating at close to 432 hertz even my own voice is i am unable to go beyond 320 so that is the called heartbeat of earth so this is the important and the bell which you have heard bell sound 2 minutes and that bell luckily i i got imported from nepal and that is uh, close to 432 hertz so what is the importance of 432 and 102 108 so 108 is a multiple of 4 108 multiplied by 4 is a 432 so i already explained you the importance of 432 so when you google it you will get an, at least 20 25 different uh, coincidence why that 432 and 108 has got a importance in uh, uh, all the cultures including, including hindu and uh, other other culture even your mala when you make a mantra you have to chant is 108 times om mantra you have to chant 108 times so why part i explain in this slide see the earth diameter and sun diameter are 108 times that means if we join 108 earth it will reach to uh, sun moon diameter and earth diameter distance between moon and earth is 108 times so these are all basically geographical coincidence maybe our ancestor have designed and they have given importance 
1.2108. Numerically, I just explained what is the meaning of 1, 0 and 8 and all these things. Uh, 8 is related to power, influence, abundance and achievement of your uh, success in your life. 1 represent is uh, authority and leadership. 0 represent nothing. But when you add 0 to many things, you know the power of 0. So these are all coincidences. That's why this 432 Hertz has a cosmic healing power. When you see from Ayurvedic perspective and other thing, they have got an importance of 108. From uh, acupressure perspective, Chinese uh, methodology of acupressure, within our body we have 108 marmas. Marmas means pressure point. Uh, our first uh, pressure point, uh, our leg, leg has got a four each pressure point. Similarly, there are certain pressure point during palm. So this 108 pressure point, when you press this thing, you get some positive or negative effect. So it is a different uh, technique altogether, acupressure, but again it relates to 108. So 108 marma point called vital point or life forces. So it is said that uh, when you chant 108 times it open the open uh, crown chakra and all the way. So what is the basis of our healing method? See uh, already I explained ki every object in the universe vibrate with its fundamental frequency called natural frequency. So these are all the prima is our foundation on which we are talking. The first assumption or premise is every object vibrate and when you are in a vicinity of other vibratory object, so you receive the characteristic of that vibratory object within you. So this is the basic principle of vibration therapy. That means if you are experiencing certain vibration like 432, you receive the benefit of 432 vibration within you. So this is a transfer of property of their respective vibration. So similarly, when you are hearing some bad noise or bad thing, that also affect you. When as soon as you wake up in the morning and somebody appreciate you in a good way, so you feel better. So what that feeling better related to that whatever talk happen, appreciation talk. So your whole day is in a good mood. So why that mood is get created because of that just two minutes, uh, the good discussion. Similar thing, it happens the other way around. Somebody talks badly at early morning, the whole day goes in a negative way. So that is the principle of vibration. That means somebody talking in good way, good words or bad words, it affect you. So what is the again fundamental? Everything in the object in the universe vibrate. Even universe is vibrating at 432 hertz. Every cell in your body vibrates at particular frequency. Every organ vibrates at particular frequency. And in all total, if you take the summation, entire body vibrate at a particular frequency. And that is the signature of your that particular person. See, when you are meeting 100 people in a conference or something or in a marriage ceremony, you don't uh, communicate with all the 100 people. So you get a, you are within your class. So you are... Uh, in four years or five years uh, college life, you don't get a friendship with all your hundred uh, colleague or colleague students or something. You get a friendship with one or two people or maximum five people. Why that happens? And that is because of this, your signature frequency, that frequency matches with your personality and that friendship happens. Similarly, other way around, you may be enemy of somebody or other person may be enemy or enemy is a very, very harsh word, but it happens. So that vibes are not matching. So we are talking about vibration and corresponding energy. So the transfer of energy is possible and that is called law of entrapment and that is used in human healings. Now I have shown some uh, object here. The left side are living object and other sides are non-living objects. So what is the difference between the two? See, left side 
each and every object made up of basic element like carbon hydrogen oxygen and so many other element here also they are available carbon hydrogen oxygen and everything but what is the difference the difference between two is a chetana so chetana means what the chetana defines whether you are living or non living so chetana means what breath you take and from that the what energy goes inside that decides whether that carbon hydrogen atom is in a living mode or chetana mode or non chetana mode so that is the difference so here that energy part plays very important so now again extending that concept of vibration to our each and every organ within our body each organ has got its own resonant frequency and it when your entire your health is good they are vibrating at their normal frequency whatever assigned frequency whereas when particular particular organ is filled with disease then it vibrate lesser and lesser and over time period it decreases its vibration and that is the uh, observation and these decrease in frequency of vibration it is a major evil we have measured in our course uh, in amps hospital and uh, they have designed the tool uh, to measure this vibration of each and every organ and uh, the things which i have learned from uh, dr uh, pande who is doing a doctorate degree in uh, the same field uh, human vibrations and those instrument and other thing so he has teaches us uh, how to measure the vibration and the principle is if particular say liver or kidney or thing is vibrating at lesser frequency than normal if you are able to attain that frequency at normal level that means disease can be reversed so this is the principle or uh, premise on which entire vibration or sound therapy work so with external means or any other means whether we are means maybe meditation means maybe external uh, sound therapy the idea is to bring those organs into back to your normal vibrating mode then probably disease can be reversed these i already explained to you why friendship develop and why so uh, this is uh, same example uh, what is the negative vibes see your ghar ka jo paltu kutta jo hai and faltu kutta this is a different between same person will get negative vibes with your uh, stray dogs but he will be friendship with his own dog so that is basically frequency matching so with this uh, my first part is over so hope uh, you have understood what is vibration now we will come to the second part the biological part of that uh, this is uh, uh, originally dr uh, alka prakash topic but uh, i am taking it uh, at a macro level basically to get the total perspective of what the vibration therapy is so here i will explain who i am so when we introduce you one human being to other human being we introduce as this is my name this is my qualification this is my designation and all this thing and we end up here but from biological perspective we are much beyond that so what is that see our body consists of this skeleton we have 216 bones and all this uh, detail uh, skeleton part and this constitute our basic profile basic how much your height how much your overall looking and other thing this is decided by your uh, skeleton and on this skeleton you have got a muscular system and this muscular system plays very important role in our our health it is not that bone is is a structural member this is a muscular system binds the bone not the bones are binding the muscular system as you get uh, older and older is a muscular system get deteriorated not the bone system whereas people assumption is bone get deteriorated this is other way around to so muscular system with exercise with all massaging and all the thing you have to keep it intact and you, you will be good so these are all uh, organs within our body this is just to give a perspective on where we are heading towards then uh, within our body we have two circulatory system one is a blood system other is a lymphatic system blood system is the supplier of many things to our body 
like your vitamins, then oxygen and so on. It supplies to each and every cell within our body, where the lymphatic system is like a, uh, like a drainage system. It, it takes all our uh, toxins and then, uh, and, and it is a basically return path for it. Uh, uh, recycle all these things and bring the clear fluid to the uh, blood system. So lymphatic system is also important. It's working for the better health. So any, any imbalance in lymphatic system, it affects our health. Then digestive system and all these things. Uh, your urinary system, nervous system. Nervous system is a basically a communication system which communicates whatever uh, happening to your body, even giving the command, your uh, experience of hungry or any pain. So these are all the brain to decide what the action to be taken. These are all the nervous system. See, sabse important jo hai wo endocrine system. There are many glands in within our body. Usme se art now ye jo sabse important glands hai, that plays very very important role. Why uh, I am talking? Why sabse important endocrine system is? These are secreting various hormones, and this hormone keeps the complete balancing of your entire all the system together. So endocrine system, all glands are doing the integration of the entire body. Heartbeat kitna karna hai, wo bhi decide karta hai hormonal system. So the hormonal system is far more important. And balancing of this is very much required. See, when uh, uh, due to any, any disease or something, if you remove thyroid, so removing thyroid is not a solution. So doctor prescribes some capsule, 100 gram, 150 gram capsule, which, which will replace the thy thyroid function. It is not so. Because all the hormonic system, they are secreting the hormones as and when required. So this as and when required is very important words. And that mm -hmm. is the nature has designed controlling mm -hmm. this as and when required. By injecting 100 milligram early morning is not enough. This is a complete heavy dose for that. So this is not uh, right way to do the thing. So this hormonal system is the bridge between our biological system and what the next topic I am discussing and that is a spiritual system. See when you meditate or when you go to that stage, so meditation helps in bringing your endocrine system in a balancing board. So aap jo prayer karte hai, jo bhi level ka prayer karte hai, what is the ultimate benefit of prayer? Ultimate benefit of prayer basically you are calming your entire system and asking God to function all the element together in an integrated mode and so that it balances each other so your, your, your health is not deteriorating. So this endocrine system what I feel is the major bridge between our body and the next topic which we are discussing is spirituality. So in spirituality uh, it is uh, derived from uh, Vedas and other things. Our body consists of five uh, different bodies, entire our profile. The, the physical body, we, you have seen the uh, broader aspect of physical body and that is called as Annamaya Kosh. Second is your energy body or astral body that is called a Pranamaya Kosh. And three, fourth and five is uh, beyond our uh, discussion today, but these are three, fourth bodies are existing. <laughs> soul of our body. So that is a different aspect of discussion, but where we are con concentrating our physical body and astral energy body. So from here we are, we are discussing somewhat about the uh, spirituality of this thing. Now before we discussing, just see uh, world over medical emblem is the sh emblem as shown on the left side. So this, when you Google it, it gives a description as a central sword surrounded by two snakes. So this is the description appears in Google and this is world over accepted symbol by all medical fraternity. But explanation limited to only snake and sword. Whereas other explanation given in Anadikala say people are talking about Ida Pingla and Shishumna Nadi. Within our body, there are 72,000 Nadis. 
which goes to each and every part of the body and these are all energy bodies nadi's function is to uh, flow the energy required to do day to day function so out of 72000 nadis there are certain three nadis are far more important out of which the first is shishuna nadi which goes vertically down with a straight portion of uh, nadi that is shishuna nadi and this shishuna nadi may be equivalent of sword in the medical emblem the second is ida nadi which uh, goes in a serpentile mode in a s form but it is not pure s it is a uh, three dimensional uh, uh, three dimensional serpentine motion and that is from starting from left side and it uh, ends uh, there so that is called ida nadi and the other is a pingala nadi so what is special about this nadi these are basically energy they are doing the energy function and they intersect at seven points one at the beginning last at the last and in between five different places so ye jo junction hota hai wo junction it called chakra and there are seven chakras these are the major nadis which are joining at the seven places that's why we call it junction or sangam abhi ye jo nadi jo concept hai wo uska similarity we can give it a geography on our earth we have lots of rivers so this nadi can be analogous to river to nadi jo naam hai wo nadi se hi derive hoga hoga that may be idea behind that and jab when two rivers meet each other it is called a sangam and sangam means high energy spots on that particular place to wo sangam itne high energy hai कि अपने जो ऑल महान ग्रंथ जो है वो ग्रंथ ऑल आर रिटर्न एट दी बैंक ऑफ संगम सो दैट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस एंड सेम थिंग हैपेंस विद इन अवर बॉडी ये जो सेवन पॉइंट्स है दीज आर कॉल्ड हाई एनर्जी पॉइंट्स व्हेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग दिस इन डिटेल एंड एज वी गो फर्दर so these are all discussion uh, I, i already did it uh, shishumna ida and pingala nadi these are all life forces they are called in other language uh, prana chai or simply energy or subtle body and all this thing uh, so in a healthy body energy flows should be harmonious so that chakras in the equilibrium position so these are all the name of chakra straight from uh, muladhara or root chakra this is the first chakra and they are along the spines the first chakra is a muladhara chakra its uh, conve- uh, uh, color convention is red muladhara color convention is red and this has got a four petals so what is the significance of petal i will come to you shortly so each chakra has got certain petals see uh, i mentioned there are 72000 nadis and they are also intersecting at various parts of the body not only these three nadis so in muladhara chakra other than ida pingala tingla there are other nadis also get uh, intersected so that intersection is symbolized with the four petals that means there are four total nadis are intersecting the second chakra is a swadhisthan chakra or sacral chakra the sacral chakra has got a six petal that means six other uh, nadis are joining third one is manipur chakra or solar plexus manipur chakra there are eight petals and uh, disturbance in manipur chakra is directly leads to diabetes and blood pressure so this two different phenomena which may not be related to each other diabetes is different blood pressure is different but this two negative outcome is due to the imbalance is manipur chakra and why it happens because diabetes related to different nadis blood pressure related to two independent nadis and they are joining at the manipur chakra that's why balancing of manipur chakra and taking care of manipur chakra probably it may remove uh, your blood pressure problem and diabetes problem the imp- other important is the heart chakra this is the fourth chakra and middle most chakra these are got uh 10 petals and 
नेक्स्ट इज अ थ्रोट चक्रा विच इज कॉल्ड अ विशुद्ध चक्रा मल्टीपल पैटर्न्स थर्ड आई चक्रा विच इज कॉल्ड आज्ञा चक्रा हेज गॉट ओनली टू पैटर्न्स एंड सहस्त्र चक्रा विच इज अ क्राउन चक्रा हेज गॉट मेनी मेनी नाडीज जॉइनिंग टुगेदर एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टंट चक्रा बिकॉज दिस चक्रा रिसीव युअर कॉस्मिक एनर्जी एंड दैट फ्लो हेज टू हैपन बिकॉज इट कॉस्मिक एनर्जी कम्स फ्रॉम ब्रह्मांड और कॉस्मिक इट गोज टू क्राउन चक्रा सिमिलरली मुलाधारा चक्रा रिसीव द एनर्जी फ्रॉम अर्थ सो दीज आर दी टू एंड पॉइंट वेर ह्यूमन बींग रिसीव द एनर्जी सो दीज आर ऑल डिस्कॉल्ड डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर यू पीपल टू अंडरस्टैंड and uh, what this each chakra represent so root chakra represent a grounding force sacral chakra is the balancing thing self esteem related to manipur chakra love is related to heart chakra and so on so crown chakra is related to your spiritual connection now how the your endocrine system and chakra are related so uh, crown chakra has got a direct control with the penile gland so uh, penile gland ka main function aapko pata hai aapko raat ko neend jo aata hai wo neend jo aata hai wo uh, what is the name of uh, melatonin a uh, melatonin melatonin jo secret hota hai raat ko maybe 1 hour before you start sleeping and even if you are doing something else uh, melatonin forces you to go for sleep so like this each gland secretes their hormone in system but how it is related each chakra so this is the relationship is shown here this is the detailing on your uh, each of this chakra and uh, which vibration frequency is useful for balancing of the chakra which i given here uh, down and uh, what is their uh, uh, बीज बीज मंत्र दीज आर ऑल लाम इज अ ब्रिज मंत्र फॉर दी मुलाधार चक्र एंड सो ऑन वन मोमेंट वन मोमेंट मेरा जरा कुछ क्लिक हो गया तो मणिपुर चक्रा दीज आर ऑल कंप्लीट डिस्क्रिप्शन देर कलर कोड्स एंड बीज मंत्र इज अ राम राम हार्ट चक्रा बीज मंत्र इज यम थ्रोट चक्रा इज हम थर्ड आई चक्रा इज अ ओम but pronounce is differently and crown chakra bij mantra is complete om so this in this gland system i already related so already i mentioned this all each chakra is uh, denoted by their respective colors and uh, these are all a rainbow color violet to red then each chakra vibrate with own specific frequency mm -hmm. and the decision we make how we perceive and respond in your day to day life is regulated by these chakra vibrations so now uh, question is why chakra gets blocked so these are all some of the representative reasons i shown here uh why the blocking happens so when 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 uh, any personality get shocking information it may be uh, news based or some accident based or something stress at the your workplace or home place or maybe physically or whatever or maybe personal habit good or bad habits uh poor physical alignment or posture eating unhealthy food and self restrictive behavior these are all representative which are responsible for unblocking of the chakra 
once the chakra gets unblocked it has got a cascading effect on your health so welcome back so everybody now we will continue where bhaiya left yes bhaiya yes sir chalu karenge ha bhaiya chalu karenge so these are all the reasons why chakra gets blocked there may be many more reasons these are all representative things but uh when chakra gets block what are the indications so these are the some of the indications uh which i have shown here one of this is headache not the short term headache five ten minutes if you take tea then the headache goes not that kind of headache but the headache persists then that can be uh, that is a signal that your something is wrong brain fog uh, la- lack of intuitive guidance lack of inspiration overactive overwhelming imagination uh, pain in your upper back or chest tight shoulder or alternatively overly flexible shoulder inability to receive love in any form lack of self compassion and feeling a sense of lack or a loss with uh, regard to the love another thing fear there fear i not mentioned here uh, extra fear or excessive fear so people get scared without any reason so these are all warning sign that chakras are out of balance and once you see this thing then uh, i said it has got a cascading effect on your health so what happens when chakras are out of balance so imbalance in physical emotional spiritual health emotional imbalance include issues with moodness volatility self reflection difficulty in sleeping those people who are uh, sleep disorder is due to imbalance in crown chakra so once you balance the crown chakra probably your sleep things will go away constipation and bowel issues weight gain and loss weaken immunity fatigue uh, issues in lower body including lower back legs feet and the so on uh, headache blurred vision sinus issues eye strain hearing loss hormone function uh an inability to look at own fear and learn from others or acting excessive weight and so on uh, digestive system disorder when solar plexus chakra is out of balance we experience fear so fear i just mentioned is due to the solar plexus anxiety loss of control imbalance in third chakra can manifest as low esteem see even if you are uh, qualified you know multiple skills you are great in all the respect but still you feel uh, low self esteem see for example uh, abhi jo uh, cricket chal raha hai cricket mein all all 11 players they never uh, perform on a particular day when they get out on zero they will maybe mood may be very bad for till their next match happens so why this happens even if you have got a skill the person who has hit a century or he has taken a multi, uh, five ten wickets next day he don't perform so why this inconsistent performance so these are all some of the uh, things happen when your particular chakras get imbalance so disturbance in crown chakra you, you see what it happen it it disturb your circadian rhythm which is called a body clock so this uh, what should be the bo- right body clock i shown it you on right part of that but this happen due to the uh, malfunctioning of pineal gland see pineal gland secretes melatonin hormone and it get disturbed particularly when you travel from say uh, 180 degrees apart mumbai to or singapore to uh, new york then your entire body clock get confused they don't know whether to sleep or whether to get awakened so this can happen to minimum 2 days to maybe some people i heard is up to the 12 days you get the jet lag so once the jet lag that means your body clock is disturbed body clock disturb is affect your health and you are not in a mood to do any 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 productive thing so this is just disturbance in crown chakra but the reason behind it your travel across the globe now the solution part so we have described the chakra what is the chakra why it blocks 
what are the symptoms and how to unblock there are multiple ways to unblock these are the things i have shown uh, how to unblock this uh, chakra and uh, i am not specialist of uh, on top of the thing i am just after getting my certification in the vibration and uh, sound therapy i started practicing only the sound therapy so this is the last part we will go into the detail but other parts uh, listener can explore further or they have to study and uh, if you are interested in like reiki there is a separate course available and uh, there are different practices available to unblock the chakra but what i convince is the fastest way is the last thing which i will discuss uh, in detail shortly see what happens when all seven chakra are open open means they are balanced that means you are, you are, you, are, you are experiencing a healthy life now what is the effect of meditation so what and what is the objective of meditation so objective of meditation is basically to go through the whatever process which i will show you shortly uh, to to receive the cosmic energy within your body so this is the uh, shloka i have taken from uh, bhagavad gita and its english meaning is uh, limiting food intake inhale cosmic prana uh through zero state of meditation that is called chakra breathing one who knows this divine process dissolves all the karma so this is the meaning of this uh, thing now uh i will go into the meditation part of this and exactly what happened what is the process of meditation and uh, i will just discuss the scientific part of that not the meditation i am not expert in the meditation there are many people who are sitting in this audience they are they are individual or expert maybe but this is the science part behind the meditation i am explaining so these are the five types of brain waves uh, uh within any 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 uh, human being so these five states called beta alpha theta delta and gamma stage so what is beta so when you are living day to day life we are with open eyes logical reasoning we are meeting discussion or whatever we we when two people meet each other they discuss that is the beta stage and beta stage you experience all types of stresses and all these thing the when you experience stress is a beta stage basically you are you are doing all operational and day to day thing so what is the alpha stage so alpha state is the beginning of your meditation process so first stage in meditation is you close your eyes and try to relax it so in this process uh, you are relaxing and you start the beginning so when when you are sleeping and as soon as you go to the sleep mode you start dreaming something you are as the last 15 days when i am preparing for this uh, presentation entire my uh, night sleep I, i was seeing all the presentation only all this uh, spirituality seven chakra i am seeing for last whole month so that is the effect of whatever day to day you do it it comes in your dream so theta stage is the dream stage and this external instrument like sound healing and other thing it attends it's help you to attend this stage and this is the only stage where healing happen so healing is not due to the external thing external device like instrument or any other method it basically instrumental in uh, making healing happen so healing happen because of your your glands comes to your equilibrium stage and this sacred whatever nature uh, rhythm cycle has given that is that is the biological part of that Why, by only biological part will give the result but these are all are either external means to achieve that thing so when you remove the dream part from the theta stage that is called delta stage and here delta within delta you are able to attain all all energy from the cosmic and normally in your 8 hour sleep maximum may be 8 to 15 minutes you get this stage and only healing happen at this stage 
गैमा स्टेज तो नॉर्मल पर्सन के लिए पॉसिबल नहीं है फॉर दैट यू टू गो टू हिमालय एंड गो टू मेडिटेशन मे बी इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस एन अदर थिंग व्हिच व्हिच इज बियॉन्ड आवर स्कोप एट द मोमेंट तो ये प्रोसेस ऑफ टेकिंग ब्रीथ एन अदर थिंग सो हियर ऑल सेवन चक्रास फ्रीक्वेंसी आई डॉक्यूमेंटेड हियर सो हियर नाउ अगेन वी विल कम बैक टू दिस म्यूजिक पार्ट ऑफ दैट so in musical industry you may have seen harmonium and uh, maybe other instrument and there uh, we talk about note so you, i will give the example of harmonium so harmonium has got multiple keys uh, white keys and black keys so just consider on the white keys so each key is for one particular frequency so when you uh, press sa re ga ma pa da ni sa so each sa means one frequency re means other frequency and these are all basically uh, octane octane means sa re ga ma pa da ni sa when you are complete completing this sa again that is called eight keys so this eight keys called octane and each has got a note and that note may be a b c d e f g and so on so there can be five octane so for our uh, meditation with external means we are considering maybe one octane or two octane so what is that octane here i demonstrated with the notes so these are the frequency see for first root chakra the frequency for your opening this root chakra or uh, rebalancing of the root chakra when you experience with the c note exactly means 432 hertz or 396 hertz the c note when you uh, take a therapy of c note probably the first root chakra get balance similarly d notes e note so the, each of this note i am going to give you demonstration shortly in 2 3 minutes so c note kya hota hai d note kya hota hai you will experience those notes so those notes mean these are the corresponding frequencies so these are the frequency for various uh, organs in our body so each organ so irrespective of person it, it will not change so agar mai vijay chavan hu to mera stomach 110 se hoga dusre ka bhi 110 se hi hoga so that that frequency doesn't much change and here i am giving a note this is not the totally alternative treatment for your serious illness so you keep on giving medical treatment these are the additional or complementary things which you can do and that will enhance your probably medical treatment when you are 100% sure ye mera sound therapy chalega then then probably you can go so now coming to the role of instrument in vibration therapy there are many instruments available uh, for your vibration therapy and uh, this uh, i am listing it here so you see this out of available instrument your own voice is the first instrument so this you don't have to buy it from external source your voice you can make use of for anything and on voice you can make a career like lata mangeshkar her voice i don't know what is the valuation of her voice mm -hmm. so your own voice you can chant with any mantra with 432 hertz which i said today which will give a healing effect or not only it will heal you it will heal surrounding people who are in the vicinity of you uh, all monochord uh, instrument like your guitar sitar there are monochord instrument other string instrument gong uh, didgeridoo uh, this is uh, one instrument which is popular in new zealand and australian shamanic drum which is uh, 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 available in monarchy another thing native american flute native american flute where uh, earlier uh, ancient people they used for uh, communicating with each other with a peculiar sound and for hunting purpose ocean drum rattles means gungru these are all basically used for uh, removing your negative parts within your house and then tingsha temple bell vajra and singing bowl which i will demonstrate shortly now so these are all available instrument in the market which will help you for sound therapy conch is one of them conch uh, 
जो शंख उनका भी आई गिवन ए फ्रीक्वेंसी मोस्ट ऑफ दॉन्च विच आई हियर इज अराउंड थ्री फोर्टी टू फोर फोर्टी हर्ट्स टूडे आई हर्ड प्रेम प्रकाश सिंगिंग दिस कॉन्च इज फ्रीक्वेंसी वॉज सम थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी हर्ट्स और आई आई जस्ट रिकॉर्डेड सो वी इनिशिएट पूजा विथ अ कॉन्च टू कॉल द एंजल्स एंड एंड पूजा विथ अ कॉन्च दिस इज जस्ट बिलीव पार्ट ऑफ दैट Uh, these instrument brings our lost conscious to focus it on the right things rattles i explained to you these are available in the market american flute which i explained to you these are shamnik drum this didgeridoo which is more popular in australia and new zealand this is the singing bowls these are the bowls made up of uh, either bronze or brass or maybe consist of seven elements which they Used in making this bowl. These are all originally uh, from Tibet, but its history I found uh, maybe 2,500 years ago in uh, Mesopotamia, which is existing Iraq part. That is the beginning of this singing bowl concept, and people are using this since so many years in uh, healing their uh, ailments. So these are the therapy part, uh, the pictorial I have shown here. so this is the history of uh, singing bowls so when singing bowls uh, which uh, demonstration you will see it resonant when we we strike it this has got a very good healing power so these are all other thing uh, how to play singing ball i will not explain basically there are numerous uh, videos are available on youtube including my videos so it is uh, used as a relaxing therapy that is body mind and soul these are the application of singing bowl sound therapy and meditation chakra alignment and total cleansing transmitting energies and so on this is history just i talk about this it is a, uh, the references are found in uh, more than 5000 years back in mesopotamia and it gives really beautiful sound so this is the impact we will see when we take this uh, sound therapy with the singing bowl so these are the things will happen so uh, i will show you with water as a example how water also get resonated and when you are experiencing the vibration of singing bowl so it it affect at the cell level and it eliminate poison from your body so these are all other descriptions so how what to look for singing bowl that i think i can guide the each and every person individually there are technique of buying from the market what to buy what frequency to purchase and uh, i have given my own frequency chart uh, whichever things i bought so these are acha uh, the singing ball are made up of gold silver iron mercury tin copper and lead these are the seven metal they mix and they make the hand bowl and what is each material represent and for what day these are all basically belief part is i i don't have any any uh, uh, confirm uh, assurance that uh, silver represent moon or gold represent sun and how much gold part in the world because otherwise the cost will go up so these are all uh, description i found in the literature so there is a concept of sound bath using uh, uh, this singing bowl so many singing bowl with many people running together it is a sound bath and what is the and what is the effect of sound bath i explain here it calms your body reduces your stress and energy increase the focus and and increase your decrease your tension and fatigue boost your mood and improve the sleep and so many other benefits part are explained so this is a time part i shown the research found that the wounds exposed to vibration five times a week for 30 minutes heal more quickly and so on people who are exposed to injury so their their healing will be faster so these are all my collection uh, i have given my frequency whatever i purchase from the market 
and still I am searching. These are the frequency of bowl and corresponding uh, organs. These are the my, my collection here. See here now I will I will uh, start the demonstration of uh, uh, this thing. You just concentrate on. Uh, uh, I will demonstrate now all the balls. Give me a minute here. Now I will demonstrate sound therapy with the help of full moon set for all seven chakra. This is my full moon set handmade Tibetan bowl. So this is the first bowl for crown chakra. This is for Agya chakra node A. This is a node G. This is a node F. This is node E. This is a node D. And this is the node C for Muladhar Chakra. Node C stands for Muladhar Chakra. Node D for Sacral Chakra. Node E for Manipur Chakra. Node F for Heart Chakra. Node G for Throat Chakra. Note A for Agya Chakra and Note B for Crown Chakra. Combined sound is for overall unblocking of all chakras together. If you have specific problem or related to each of these chakra, you can have sound therapy with the respective chakra. For example, you want to unblock Muladhar chakra, then we can use the C bowl having C note. The explanation of note I already given in my lecture. This is C note. This is called striker. This is called mallet. You can see the difference in vibration. Each bowl is made up of seven different materials, which I already discussed in my discussion. So sound and vibration goes through your body and it rejuvenates your body. This is node D or sacral chakra or sadhisthan chakra. This vibration are different from earlier one. See in handmade bowl you can have different harmonics. So each harmonics is individual multiplier of 
your basic vibrations. This vibration I can suppress after touching this bowl. This dies down immediately. This is for solar flexic chakra or Manipur chakra. This is note F chakra or for heart chakra. Next one is G node for throat chakra. This is note A for Agya Chakra or Third Eye Chakra. The last one is for crown chakra, note B. I can strike this all these bowls again together for combined therapy. If anybody has got a migraine or depression, you can take the therapy like this.
Now I will demonstrate the water test, how water gets, uh, vibration get transferred to water. And since our body contains 71% of water, so you can have analogy of how water inside our body, how it get affected. So that I will demonstrate now after filling one of this bowl with water and giving the vibration to it. You can see the water sprinkles inside this bowl. So this bowl is vibrating at 315 hertz and this 315 hertz you can see the effect on water. This will exactly happen inside our body because our body consists of 71% of water. So when you are taking this vibration therapy so this is the way it will affect our fluid part in our body. So this is the basic principle of vibration. When any external source vibrating, it resonates other surrounding bodies and try to reach the frequency of the source frequency. These two instruments which are just demonstrated, they called as a temple bell and ting shop. So this is the demonstration of handmade bowls and handmade tingsha and temple bell. Now we will go for demonstration of machine made bowl which has got a beautiful look. Now I will demonstrate you all my available collection from the bowl having different frequencies. To start with, this is a 6 inch bowl having frequency of 315 hertz. This bowl is 9 inch size having a frequency of 327 hertz.
This bowl is same 9 inch size having frequency 337 hertz. This bowl is 489 hertz frequency. Listen this sound. This is 587 hertz. This is 550 hertz. Seven hundred and fifty five hertz. This bowl is 656 hertz. The frequency chart is already shown in my presentation. These are designed for different chakra healing. Six hundred hertz frequency.
so my demonstration is over and then we'll continue this uh, uh, see uh, this part i will discuss at the end uh, this is the process how to give uh, complete uh, sound healing see uh, though this i demonstrated myself but to get the therapy this one man is not enough so the person or patient uh, who want to give healing he should go into the meditation mode and he should focus on what the vibration what we are experiencing and he should not do anything other than the uh, focusing on the uh, that particular vibration he should not do any other thing where other assisting person he should sung all the uh, required bowl so these are all the benefit part of that how the stress will, level will get reduced so this is the detailing of this singing bowl therapy benefits so this is the important slide the risk and side effect though i talk all the way the benefit part of that so there are certain uh, maybe a side effect which i feel uh, right to uh, explain it here the people who are prone to headache they need not uh, do or need not go for this vibration therapy uh, that might increase their headache then uh, pregnant women there is no data available whether it is a good or bad effect on that so better to avoid it and people who are experiencing epilepsy they also should uh, they, their epilepsy maybe it will get triggered further so these are the uh, whatever uh, slight negative parts which i observed in documentation i listed here so this my my part is over now it is open for discussion thank you so alka ji can i speak for a minute ah, yes bhaiya bhaiya very good very good very good you can stop sharing vijay bhaiya you can ah, stop ek, sharing ha ah, ek minute ha ah, aaram se no rush aaram se aaram so i i just wanted to compliment uh, vijay you know so maybe apart from dr is swami dr vijay chavan ji <laughs> so you know he started this effort uh, on the vibration therapy during our bhutan visit where we were together let's say about 5 months back so he was uh, sort of uh, attracted towards it and after coming back he continued with his study the second part of his inspiration was uh, alka and prem you know he said he they are giving so much voluntarily to the people around you know uh, for natural uh, naturopathy so he said i must contribute something you know so he once earlier did a, a presentation on the eye and now he has done for the vibration therapy and he has one more subject on the agenda which is zero voltage you know yes so which he is uh, studying and he has passed some exams but his passion is commendable that is the point you know so yes. if you have passion so you must learn what is the frequency for passion from vijay chavan yes sir i can give a small example <laughs> there are different ways of communication or different ways of heat conduction heat conduction is by conduction or radiation or convection so like that this energy transmission also could be sound by physical means when you hold the things in your hand so uh, you know these are all various means that's it thank you Yes, 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 uh, sir. Any uh, Sombhya? Yes, Sombhya. I, I had a question. I think uh, one was the what is the YouTube channel name so that we can uh, search Shubhi Jabhiya's uh, uh, videos. That's one. Is there any particular channel he has because we can subscribe I, to that? My channel what? is there. Yes. My channel is there. I will send you the details. Very good. Okay. Uh, okay. Other or, than or, that, or, or you can you can uh, search for. Uh, singing bowl uh, demonstration my name will appear there 
Okay, thank you. Other thing, other than that, I like the Vijay Agarwal's message about uh, appreciating your passion, hmm. and this is commendable, commendable job. There's so much details you have gone in, and just congratulations. See, whatever subject I like, I go into the depth. Congratulations so, for that. So this is my not my original PhD. I am an original mechanical engineer, and then uh, information technology and finance. I teach uh, finance to chartered accountant, though I am not a chartered accountant. So, like this, I, I teach in other subjects. I teach us four laws, four countries' laws, their legal systems, and uh... now let me introduce one of my doctor friend, Doctor Bridges Rawar, who is a natural therapist, doing his practice for last twenty years, including sound therapy. So, I requested him to give a message to our group. giving his own experience in this field thank you very much over to dr bridges rawar hello everyone uh, namaste uh, my name is dr bridges rawal i am a practicing naturopathy since last 20 years in mumbai and one of the modality is sound meditation healings so i want to share some knowledge on sound meditation healings it is very ancient therapy uh, it is not new so basically uh, we have adopting lots of ancient therapies traditional therapies to inculcate uh, in our day to day life and to get rid of our suffering now let's uh, talk about some Uh, sound meditation healings so what is exactly it means so basically it is an working with the energy system so our body completely works on energy system and uh, energy system is in the universe so it is inside our body also and outside also so uh, now there is one question like what is energy so we should understand what is energy energy is equal to sound vibration and frequency so it is a plus plus combination is equal to energy so now uh, when when we are into some suffering so we can conclude that if there is some disturbance or disharmony in this three factors either in our internal sound internal vibration or internal frequency so uh, this can be like uh, it can happen uh, give us the suffering on mind even in body uh, or in our life so what is the solution the solution is sound meditation healing now uh, sound meditation helps us to heal all our problems and uh, in this therapy we are using some tools to use or to give that healings we use some different different tools like we have uh, tibetan sound bowls we have tuning forks we have gongs we have lots of uh, like sound bed is also there so today i am going to discuss with you or i am going to share my knowledge on tibetan sound ball healings so as you can see we are having uh, a sound ball tibetan sound ball in front of us and there is one striker which which is helpful to generate energy now how it works by science our body contains 70% of water so whenever there is a uh, there is a disharmony in our body so we always say there is some circulatory issues or there is a circulation problem so now the 70% of water what it does it flows in our body in day to day life in, it is in different different uh, uh, different different way it helps us like it is in the form of blood also in form of hormones also in form of uh, lymphatic liquid also 
so whenever uh, we are suffering with the some disease so there is a disharmony in this liquid so how we, we can understand or we can correlate ourselves with the sound healing so assuming this is our body this is our body and i am pouring 70% of liquid in this body i am pouring some water 70% okay so now let's see what happens when we do the sound meditation healing when we generate an energy now with this tool i am going to generate the energy energy will be comprising of sound frequency and vibration so which uh, this is our body and this shows a liquid now what happens if we are uh, passing energy to our body so let me show you something i am just reaming now you can see with this energy what happens with the water you can clearly see it is generating energy and this energy helps us to heal you can see very easily very clearly it it is giving sound it is giving vibration and it is giving frequency also so when we when we pass energy to our body our body liquid gets uh, activated and it it starts healing internally everything gets clear with this energy so this is one small uh, uh, knowledge of mine which i am sharing to you all and with this i have Uh, taken lots of results in lots of patients like i have given results in insomnia patient depression patient adhd child asthma which was stress related and uh, there is a like pain management it is a miracle like uh, back pain knee pain it is clearing in one or two sessions so uh, It, this is a very very powerful tool for the healing uh, i am very much thankful to you all and dr vijay chavan who has given me opportunity to share my knowledge and experience to all of you so looking forward for more uh, talks with you thank you very much and namaste